Okay, here we go. Lloyd versus Mark. Final match in this group, Phil. It is, it is. And uh, basically, we if Mark wins, there's a chance that Lloyd might not get through and James might get through, courtesy of his uh, his victory over, his fine victory over our fan that we've just seen. Yep. Just depends how big the defeat is either way, if you see what I mean. Yep. So, just have to yep. sit back and see how this progresses. Big break. Yeah, I think Lloyd uh, needs to stop hanging back on his brakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he never puts his shoulder into it, does he? No. He's pulverised that. You would think yellows are a better suit, but the uh, situation down in the bottom left-hand pocket would uh, maybe suggest that he's going to go reds, which he has done. Foz 147 asking how uh, Stefan's going on. Oh, that's from a while ago, Phil. It's oh, is it? The chat's wound back again. Oh, is it? Oh, OK. Yeah, we'll leave Keeps that Keeps doing that. So, Lloyd wasting no time in this opening frame. Well, they're all there. That's a great shot. It's tomorrow, isn't it? Two more, so you've got 20 in total. Finishes tomorrow. So has he got, got 20 to play? Yeah. So it's pretty much going to be yeah, good shot there from Lloyd. Uh, we might be having a uh, break condition of every first frame of this match. We haven't had one today, have we? Not when I've been um, on the old commentary. Not that I can remember. Not that I can remember. Yeah, yeah he's <laughs> played that well. Nice shot. Good pace. <laughs> Ooh. Perfect. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't the best. He didn't cue that very well. He needs to cue this one well. Table three will be four. And did so. He certainly did. <laughs> yeah, good shot. Could this be? Yeah. yeah, he's not messing about there. Look at that. One on the break and runs meter. <laughs> nice to see. Current uh, leader at the moment <laughs> <laughs> on breaking dishes. Because you've got nothing. You've got to go on to highlight Excel and you've got to go, you know, your first one at highlight six. Oh, I've got a scorecard. See what I mean? So, Mark to break, 1 0 down. The more frames that Lloyd puts on the board, the better. I know that's stating the obvious, of course. But in terms of the, uh, the frame difference, which could come into play in this group. If he was to lose, he'd want to lose, uh, you know, and get sort of five or six frames on the board. Well, that's an interesting break from Mark. He's taken a lot off that break. Almost a tap break. Um, but he's still got a ball. He does, does Mark. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't put much uh, power into the shot. And he, d he likes the cut break as well, and so the cut break without power. Yeah. A bit strange. Hmm. Oh, do you know what? I do, uh, do apologise, Foz. Uh, I thought that was your... Um, uh, 
post from earlier asking how the rat's getting on. Um, but uh, isn't, is it? You've done another one. All um, right. Um, Where is he? Steph. He's won, he's won two matches, hasn't he? A 7 1 and a 7 6. He's uh, playing Ben Ben Clayton at the minute. We haven't got an update on that. I know he was 2 0 down, having only had one shot, a break. Ben broke and dished, Stefan broke dry and Ben dished. So I know he was 2 0 down, but that was a while ago, so I uh, don't know what the situation is now. Uh, Mark, I think he's on yellows. Yeah, he is. Well, he's got a chance if this goes in. Is he going to play the... Well, he can't play the plan. This has to be in the middle. Oh, I'll tell you what, that could be a foul. Yeah, he was... Uh, he isn't too bothered about that because of where he was putting the... Uh, the red. Well, surely he's just going to bump it out with his first visit and he's nothing gained, really. Yeah, it's not as easy as you think to bump that out, is it? And 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 not you know and have a good white ball shall we say? Well yeah, it, but yeah, the, I think the point I'm trying to make is by giving him two shots, he could get the red back into play and Max he can. Yeah, he gained can. absolutely nothing by putting the red up there. And if I don't know if his red passes the black into the centre, does it Phil? Well, if it does, he doesn't even have to waste his first well, one exactly, really, does he? Yeah. He can, can he, can, he can play it out later when he gets a good chance of a yeah. reverse double or something. Chance of it going in then, not just coming out. Yeah. Or if he can leave a white on the top rail and he's got the uh, the cross double even. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to bump it out. I think this is a sensible shot. Well. Um. In interesting. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I can sort of see why he's done it, uh, but. Just a slight delay on the table there while a certain commentator's son I don't decides he wants to have a chat with the players. <laughs> I, I don't know who that son could be. <laughs> I've never seen him before in my life. <laughs> so Mark was just trying to trundle the yellow in at pocket pace. Didn't quite get the potting angle. No. He has a... He has a an opportunity, shall we say, to still d finish the clearance, but nothing simple now. Yeah, he's got to take the ball over the bagger. He seemed a bit reluctant to do it, but... Well, it's only because that yellow, the, 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 the middle of those three yellows, goes in the top right-hand corner. Yeah. But that's definitely the ball. That was definitely the ball to take on, because that does go into the centre. Yeah, he's in decent shape here. The, the yellow closest to the uh, bottom left-hand pocket as we look. Oh, he's taking it now. Yeah, I was going to suggest that, because... It wouldn't have afforded him really good shape on the Great back. ball, great ball. Yeah, God. I never like it when you're playing for quite small areas, but um, he's played it well, so no issues there. Ooh, he stabbed at that one, Phil. A little um, too soft. Yeah, he just didn't queue through it at all, did he? He's really stabbed at it, so he's... He can probably do it. He can, can, he, uh, can he just... Just tickle into the reds for two yeah, reds. Maybe it just depends if a black cuts to the yeah. uh, middle or goes to the bottom right. Well, if he doesn't, he can risk breaking the red and the black up, but he doesn't want to pot the black. Do you see what I mean? He can screw back into it. Do you think so from that angle? Yeah, I think he can. I think he can actually hit these two balls, but wow. if he hits it too hard, he could actually put the black in as well. I think he'd need a Ronnie O'Sullivan-esque amount of cue power to, to create the angle there to get into them, to be honest with you. I'll show you one day, Paul. Good lad. Well, sure. No, no problem. It's whether he's um, look. You see, like he's looking over there now. Well, I think a lot depends here on if a black goes into the bottom right as well. Looking at it, that's a oh, it's a fair old effort. Now then, does it cut back? He might actually got middle. away with that, you know. Yeah. I think he can see enough of that. I wonder if Peter, if Peter's around. He does. <laughs> he it, it, it does go into the centre. The black definitely passes and goes. So you just had a look at that. <laughs> the only thing here is, is that the white ball could follow the black into the same bag. 
off the bottom hit, rail. Yeah, off the bottom rail. It could actually go in the same bag. You can't overcut oh. that. You cannot overcut that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it, that literally, that was like a, <laughs> a put that lips out almost. It rolled right around the uh, the perimeter of a pocket. Yes. Stayed oh. out like one of my putts is that. Guys, <laughs> 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 uh, Yes, Colin. Can we just please have an amnesty on giving me stick just for an hour? I told you you can't have any ham still. What's that shaking? <laughs> no ham still today, Phil. It's Heineken all the way, of course, as they are one of our, uh, well, they're one of our PPS sponsors. So, uh, out of loyalty, that's what I would be drinking. He's still on this one, really. Yeah, he has. He's, he's, yeah, I think you've you've got that dead right. He's pinched this rain, but yep. he won't mind. He wouldn't have been expecting to win that one, but he did. You don't uh, paint a picture on the scorecard, Phil. You what? You've definitely been on something. Cliche, the clicheometer is uh, is ticking. So, so Stefan's just got a result in there. Stefan seven, Ben six. Wow! In about twenty minutes. Good shot there from uh, Mark. Needs to get back into this frame very quickly, into this match, I should say, very quickly. Tunnel down, you don't really want to give Lloyd. Uh, He's played a he's played a, a good shot there, a nice confident shot stroke to a ball into the middle, and he's uh, back in position A almost here now. He can uh, just stun this in, get onto his. Well, he's leaving the ball down the rail last by the look of it. Fair enough, he's easily back onto the black. Good chance to uh, get on the board here for Mark. Table one, Danny Bodden, Neil Rooks. Neil Rooks to Danny Bodden, table one, please. James Lee will be uh, cheering every good shot on that Mark plays. Well, I don't really get this now. Right. Yeah, I think that's the way. Work your way down to that ball. Table four, Dave oh Green, dear. John Patrick, that's John Patrick, Dave Green, table four. Table one. He's massively under hit that one. Has he give it enough? Yeah, it's not a bad shot at all. Just concentrate on the pot now. Uh, not a lot to do with a white, that should just drift out nicely. Set the black into the centre. Oh, he's overdone it. Ooh. He's okay. Didn't think he needed to put anything on the cue ball there. Yeah, nice confident black coat. And he's back in the game. Yeah. 
So he's 7 on the 27. Yeah, we could, we could, I'm just going to work out the calculator. Yeah. I'll do it. If, if, um, if that is the thing, it's 7 mil. Well, the ref, yeah, the ref on the uh, group G game was yeah. there's not a lot in it. You're there because there's one percentage on the speaker. Yeah. Yeah. You're if you win 7 0. If you win 7 0, you're a runner up at the first So if you win 7 1, I'll, I'll win 6 all over that half on an all. really. Every game's going 6 0. Yeah, 6 all with my case. We will, uh, I think we might tell him to keep an eye on it. Because it's the same, we've then fallen back to this. Oh, you have seven to go That looks a bit tight, but uh, Lloyd could get through for that yellow, so uh, he's off and running. And I presume that, that yellow passes the red to the top left as we're looking at the screen, and he can just nudge the other couple of yellows out here with one shot. Yeah, that's what he's done. More of a wallop than a nudge, but that's the way to do it. Make sure you get him out of there. Tricky though now. I think a lot depends on whether the uh, the yellow that's uh, just below the bulk line passes the red to the bottom right. Sorry mate, I am back. Phil's back with me after doing the, uh, the Stato thing. Yes, questions are now flooding in about who can do what and when and why and where for. It's getting to the business end of the groups. I don't get it really, because why would you not just go out to win your match? What yep. does it matter? Whatever you do, go and try and win seven without yeah. losing any. Yeah, absolutely. You're not going to play any different, are you? If you know that you only need five yeah, frames or something, you're you're still Redman, going to go out to win. That's how I'd view it, anyway. Uh, strange, strange breed pool players. And there's always the raft of what ifs. You're yeah. just thinking, let's just wait and see, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing simple here. <laughs> Is that yellow pass? What's he doing? How's he going for the fine cut? Yeah. Well, this jukebox, you know, it's uh, when there's no money in it, it, it can't half throw some nonsense out. But every now and again, it'll chuck a gem in, and here we yeah, go. Yeah, does. Bit of Paul Weller. He does, I know, I agree with you. Bit of Weller singing machine on a star. Hmm. <laughs> bit jabby, he's, he's not... Um, yeah, he does, doesn't he? He's, yeah, he's, he's not sort of flowing through with a cue. Mind you, Lloyd just jabbed at one before as well. Maybe the nerves are kicking in. Lloyd will be looking for a good result here. I mean, a, not, just a, not just a win, he wants a, you know, a fair few uh, frames difference as well. Yeah, we've been at it sort of, um, over five hours now and we're just getting to the, uh, the business end of the group stages, so... It's getting tense. All these players still want to be playing um, in the next hour or so. We yep. don't want to be packing the queues up and going home. But it looks like we're going to have a few very good players who are going to miss a cut. Well, obviously we are because it's a pretty strong <laughs> field of 32. So absolutely. I mean, it's yeah, you're 32 and you're down to 16 regardless. So. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have to say goodbye to some top guys. No play to vent, of course.
Yeah, it was a good uh, good decision the, uh, by Mark there to play the safe shot. And, and Lloyd's wondering now about the DF. Is there any value in getting out of this? Hmm. Well, sorry, I'm thinking about that. Lloyd's thinking about hitting the Ellers. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not sure about the DF. I, uh, yeah, I suppose you could maybe just stick the red on the side rail or something and just make it a little bit more awkward for him with two reds on the side rail. Yep, yep. You know, I'm just thinking about, you know, if he... If he can get out of it and leave sort of a white up, up on the top rail in Bork, then... Maybe there is value at getting out of it, but it's a big ask to hit a yellow and play it at such a pace that you're leaving a white up there. Yeah. If he leaves it behind one of those yellows, it'd be superb, wouldn't it? <laughs> but that'd yeah. have to be an amazing shot, pace-wise. Well, but he'd have to be going one, two, three, four, five cushions. Yeah, and he is. He's certainly going four. In fact, he'd be in every cushion about uh, one, two, three. Four. He's certainly going five, if not if you're not four, probably five. He'd be in every cushion apart from the one bottom right. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I, the more I look at it, the more I'm thinking that you might be right. Just, just bump the red onto the side rail and say, "There you go, have a go." You've got two on a rail. Can you just repeat that, just in case Leanne didn't hear that? <laughs> well, did I say that a bit loud? <laughs> Are you agreeing with me? <laughs> All right. Is that a good go? It's a great oh, shot. It's a and he went away. He went the way that we said as well, exactly the way we said. Yeah. It's not too bad actually, but I do believe he'll just bump this his, his last bad red out and and put the white ball down there behind yeah. the other three. Yeah. And then next time maybe go for it. Gotta be careful with them though from these narrow so narrowish angles because sometimes you can get a double kiss and or you can even over hit and going off. Yeah, you bottom, can. Bottom bag. Yeah. But a little bit tricky these shots. Yeah, Mark was um, well a tad unlucky. He played the shot we said and bumped a red out into play. Tried to snook a Lloyd, but just managed to put the white in the um, the gap, the window of opportunity for Lloyd. And it looks like he's taking full advantage. He's having to force this one a little bit, but he's played it well. It's fairly standard black for Lloyd. This. Yeah, cues it very confidently. Takes a three-one lead. So it's looking very much like Lloyd and our fan are going to be the two players who qualify from this group, which uh, any betting man would have put the money on. So Lloyd's break, he certainly doesn't hold back on him. As you can see, but uh, I think he's broke dry. He sure has. So Mark comes to the uh, table, nothing down.
can just get rid of common. It is con. You can't get rid of it historically, but you can't do anything else. And it was deleted and it said, oh, well, let's talk about Table 8, Dave Ibs, John Gillen. That's John Gillen, Dave Ibs, Table 8, please. Can you collect your card from the top table? Whoops. Um, I don't think that was Lloyd's intention. No, what's, uh, it's very un Lloyd like un -Lloyd like Do you like that word? un -Lloyd like I like it, it flows. It's a 147-ism. <laughs> it's close to this yellow. Yeah, he played the plant. He um, yeah, he, he played it confidently, um, but just got a little bit unlucky, to be honest. Um, yeah, this is a really tricky shot now. We don't know where Pete Arundale is. <laughs> <laughs> well, well he's a foul anyway. Of that one. Is it? Did he not touch a cushion? Did it come off the cushion? Yeah, no, he got he got a cush. Yeah, he got the side rail. Oh, he did. Yeah, he took it off the side rail, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Not bad actually. He's not left too much, is he? No, he's not actually, Phil. I, 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 I was wondering whether the red at Lloyd's closest to sort of passes between the red and yellow to the to the middle. Yeah, it might do. It might do, but his white ball's going pretty close, isn't it? If he does, yeah, he's going to have to jack it up a little and come back onto it. Oh, that's a good shot. Not bad. Not bad. The two yellows in Bork aren't touching each other, so it's not like he's got the plant. No, but he could uh, come off the side cushion or the bottom cushion and go and play the furthest yellow away mm. and leave the white ball behind the other yellow. Yeah, if it's a total, yeah. Just depends if he can feather that yeah. on the way through. If he can, then obviously it's more difficult, but if it isn't, he can come up behind the pair mm. of them. Oh. oh dear. Well, well, we hit that quite thick. Yeah, I'd be interested to see that one again. Just watching the replay just to see if it's had any. Uh oh. Who's not paid the bill? Hey, up we've gone. We just. Uh, <laughs> bit of darkness. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> just, we just tripped a fuse. Um, <laughs> we'll be back with you very shortly. Here we go. Let there be light. It's like a bit of a suspense thing now, wasn't it? I thought the lights were going to come back on and somebody was going to be over the table with a knife in the back. So Lloyd's got two shots, let's not forget. Courtesy of uh, Mark. Well, I was going to say clipping his red on the way through. He uh, m almost hit half ball. <laughs> He's just deliberate, just deliberating over this one. It's a big frame, obviously. Um, uh, stating the obvious, but 4-1 is massively different to 3-2. So Lloyd will want to hammer home that advantage. He's clipped the black there. 
It was a good white. You could see what he was doing. Um, getting into those two bad reds, which he's achieved. He's just not got the pot. But he's got another visit. By clipping a black row, he's knocked it safe-ish. Oh, he's going game. Phil's back, Mr. Fix It. You mean to uh, trip back fuse? Back on? <laughs> yeah, I have, mate. It's uh, we're back on. The lights are on again. Did we? We had some issues with that fuse before, didn't we? Yeah, it's, it's another bad day, isn't it? Weather-wise, you know, a lot of rain this today, this morning, this yeah. afternoon. I suppose we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, including the big screen, seven screens going on <laughs> for this event. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and uh, and yeah, two big two projectors and yeah, and seven flat juice, screens and a lot of juice being used. Yeah. Fortunately, we've got it hooked up to a street light outside, so that's good. Leeds, yeah. Leeds City Council can uh, foot the bill. Oops, I never said that. <laughs> no comment. Mark Lamb's just come out with another Tupperware box full of <laughs> really uh, unappetising looking food. Yeah, but the more you eat, the more you lose. Really? That's the whole idea, isn't it? Does that count for kebabs? No, it's got to be that uh, that special sort of food, doesn't it? Oh, God. Not kebabs, then? No. I don't think kebabs will cut it, mate. Can I just confirm 100% that kebabs are included? <coughs> what, in healthy food? Yeah. Yeah. Great shot from Lloyd there. He's played that absolutely deliberately. Powered it in. Used the yellow to hold for the red. So he's going to have a slightly tricky black up the rail, but uh, he'll take this all day long. I think we're probably seeing 4 1 here. Yes. No. Oh, wow. Wow, was that it? looked in all the way, Phil. Maybe just a bit hard. Yeah. Maybe. Just oh, maybe the pace, that's all. I think Lloyd thought it was in as well. His Indeed. reaction would, would uh, indicate that. He did. That's a plant, though, to start with, so... Yeah, he's got... I can't see, can't see too many... Uh, up there. Not I don't too think it's issues. as easy a plant as it looks on the screen, actually. Yeah, maybe not. I think you'd rather be the other side of the yellows. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And yes. then you're kicking it away towards the black, so it's not as easy as it looks, this. He's played that well. He has. He might take the plant on now. Preferably I would, you've just got to watch the middle back. Yeah, and you've got to watch where the first ball that he hits goes, because I think it's going to kick off towards the black. If you're not careful, it will. Oh, I don't understand this, because he's got to get back that side. He's got to avoid the middle back and no, get back that side. Doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Trying to get into him. So it can't be... Can't be that easy a plant if he's trying to get into him. Well, I, I favour the... Uh, the, the the fudge now behind uh, one of the yellows yeah, that's all they can do it's tricky though oh blimey never what a shot unlucky wow and for my next trick it's like watching a great soprendo yeah where's Debbie McGee <laughs> so what next he's he's Tell you what, he might try to cross double here. Why? Well, right. It looks naturally set. Uh, yeah, if not the treble. In fact, it's a lot easier shot than what he's taking yeah. on. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he's Woo nailed it. Well, well, well. I'll tell you what, James Lee will be enjoying this. Can I go to the shop? Sure, look. Very good finish from Mark. Plenty of credit. Yeah. Yeah. Lee, Lee, just watch the people as you walk through, won't you, my friend?
Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Table six, Lewis Gillen, Dave Fisher, that's Dave Fisher, Lewis Gillen, table six please. Let's count the top table please. There's no way that we can get the scores up on, on stream then. Yeah, possibly. But I'll need to I'll be messing about with it whilst that's on. But I might be able to slide it on. It's a funny old break, his marks. Is uh, it's like nothing I've ever <laughs> seen, really. It's like the old fashioned break under the old fudges rules. It is, you're right. It's like Lammy breaks on a Wednesday night in the Pudsey Pool League, does it all the time. And he says, Let him let him hang himself, let him go for it and hang themselves. Oh, I feel like I've been hit by a sledgehammer. You may have been. From that, I mean, I can't. You certainly know where you started off last night, but do you know where you ended up? Mm, uh, well, obviously, you, you ended up at home, but I mean, in between. Uh, <laughs> I think I ended up at home. Well, I woke up at home anyway. I can't remember how I got there. Somebody getting a little bit upset with Don't themselves. Know. Don't know, mate. Missed it. Uh, it's like police academy. <laughs> there was action, and I missed it. <laughs> oh, look at that for a shot! <laughs> Terrific shot. I tell you what, Mark's found something from somewhere. I think he's just uh, cast aside his uh, any um, inhibitions that he had, and he's uh, oh. he's really starting to flow a bit now. I'll tell you what, proper Eskimo shot that. You know, he didn't, it, yeah. he didn't have his bridging hand on the table. That was in the air. Was that one? Cracking shot. Oh, and then he does that. Well, oh, that's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Probably wanted to be straight on that yellow. Yeah. I went back to him after two days. I was like, um, Might choose the other one now, the one to the bottom left. Bottom left, yeah. I think that's a ball. Three weeks, just remind me that you told me that. Remember this conversation, because you've been begging me for more food. Well, he's certainly having a good look at it. One thing about Lloyd is when he's actually in amongst the balls, he's a very quick player, but um, he's, he's quite studious when he's uh, when he's working out which way he's going to go. Mm. That's not a good shot. I think he's going to have to come back into them as well this time. Yeah, he is. He's going to have to get that black and the yellow separated sometime, and he might as well be doing it now. Yeah. Yes. Good shot. Black's gone. Mm. Well, it's still all right, but... It's very similar, isn't it, to the one that he uh, just obviously not on the same cushion, but similar distance and distance yeah. away from a cushion to the one that he just missed in the last frame. That's very true. Anyway, he's got another three balls to pop before he needs to worry about the black yet. He's certainly taking his time over this. He is, although it's a big, it's a big frame, isn't it? You know, four, two, three, all. You'll want to make sure of this one. Yeah.
Clever little shot. Very clever. Good shot. <clears throat> yeah, he'll be ruining his luck a little bit there because uh, if a blacker had come out a bit further, he had it into all bags. It doesn't go into that middle now, but it's tricky now, is this? Because. I think he might have to take the yellow furthest away from the white here. He could actually take the one on the over the spots and then come off on round two cushions. Maybe even three cushions. Oh, this is tricky. No, he's just checked it. No, that's lovely. That's a lovely shot. Yeah, very good. Very good. Just got to get the pace right. I'm, sh I'm sure he'll uh, he'll appreciate yeah. the, the risk here for the middle bag. He has done, kept it away from the middle bag deliberately. Overhit it a little, but... Mm, he won't be happy with that. Put a bit of side on that to stop the, the enough possibility. That's that a great shot. Sweet, very, very nice. good shot. So, they're always good at those ones. Yeah, Lloyd just puts an end to Mark's little mini uh, revival. Yeah. Oh, and as his customary for Lloyd, he's off for a wee wee. I might be going to change his shirt. Yeah, change his vest. <laughs> so just a short interval now while uh, while Lloyd leaves the building. Oh, we've not got commentator cam, have we? No, that's only on the laptop because yeah, it's the built-in camera. It? Yeah, do. We can look at the. Um, we can watch really the other match if you want. There's a. Monday night, two cars, three cars. We've got Tommy. Oops. It's not obviously Lloyd. You'd have to take the. Uh, you have to take the scoreboard off. Yeah. So we've got um, Tommy playing Paul Robertson. Robertson. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy at the table. Tommy Butterfield. That is at the table. Looks like he's on reds. Don't know the score, unfortunately. Okay, he's left it. Must, must have had two. two. That's not the best, though. Not played it brilliantly, has he? <laughs> is he refusing it? He is. He is. Nice little shot. Oh, I don't know. No, is it? Not enough. I mean, nothing simple for getting back onto the black, is there? But no. um, he has left the yellow. It's probably an opportunity that he didn't think he were getting, so... It's gone back. Are we back? Yeah. Okay, Lloyd's back with us, so, uh, oops, right, and he's, uh, he's underway. Yeah, sorry about missing that, guys. Looks like it was a dry break anyway. Yep. And Mark's gone yellows. Mark at the table. Text for yellows. Cross double or cut? Uh, cut. Got to watch your white ball if that happens. There you go, look. It's away. Ooh. Yeah, I knew that was happening. Yeah, yeah, to the millimetre. You just run this through a little bit, then put the other uh -oh. yellow. Oh, dear. Lights are out again. Lights have gone again, guys. <laughs> Phil Bailey says that's quite upsetting. <laughs> I've been upset about worse things in life and lights going out. We've obviously uh, got so much going on in the club. Um, two huge HD screens, seven flat screen TVs. We've got one, two, three, four laptops, two screens, the um, amp. So there's a lot of juice being used in the club. So um, I think what we might have to do is just employ somebody to sit where the fuse is. I'll tell you what it was, Paul. I nipped downstairs, flicked it off, and then ran upstairs knowing that 
Bailey would do one and the Dream Team could get back behind the commentary booth. Very clever indeed, hey. Mark. <laughs> Oh, you what? Welcome back, Mark Lamb. Yes, thank to the you. To Yes, I've got my uh, stream team uniform on now as I am... Uh, uh, all right, don't rub it in. Officially uh, Leanne was meant to be red hot. it for me. <coughs> yes. um, so, fascinating game, it's actually. Uh, Lloyd started like a train and uh, Mark came back at him really well, but Lloyd's just pulled away again. It's... Uh, and if Lloyd wins, poor James Lee, who's won two games, goes on. Mm. Wow, cruel. Oops. Shit. Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there then? Well, I'll just move that knife slightly, like that. And that so I won't yeah. I won't move that knife again. Ah dear. He was on chat, let's have a look. When we first met Nice Yeah Certainly okay. deliberating over that um, Whispering Daz Hebron He's going to go for a little room around the club And bring us some latest scores Can you hear me? Yes we can hear you Daz It's a shame isn't it? Well it is Yes It happens It happens <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes, whispering Daz. He's dead subtle the way he strolls around the tables. He's like a ballet dancer. <laughs> they don't even know he's there. <laughs> Currently 3 2 to Dave Green against Sean Patrick. Uh, that's a bit of a group Robertson of death. playing Tommy Butterfield, and that's currently 4 all. Yeah, that previous match, the. Um, John Patrick, they've all won one, haven't they? There, so yeah, it's six. We've got Lewis Gillen, Dave Fisher, which is currently two one to Lewis. Lewis having a good run. Yep, again another group where we're, um, I think Dave's won two out of. Uh, uh, is that us turning the lights out rather than the lights going off? Oh, hey it's currently up. three two to Danny Bodden. This is a big game. This one against Neil Rooks. Winner of that one, I think, uh, gets its qualification. You're wrong there, Daz. If Neil wins, uh, Ben Clayton qualifies. <laughs> Over in the other room, we've got Liam Wattworth playing uh, Del Redmond. That's currently one all. He's only been playing an hour. And uh, the table next door, we've got Dave Ibs, John Gillen, which is also one all. Winner of that goes through. From what I've seen of that group, I would I just got one more uh, game to bring you, which is uh, in the other room. Just waiting for the Paul Tickle against Luke Meadmore update. Which is uh, again with Luke Meadmore and Paul Tickle. Is he back? Is that it? No. Oh. And this one currently stands at uh, 4 2 to. Paul Tickle. And that's your lot, boys. Thank you very much. You Whispering very much. Daz Hebron. Whispering Daz Hebron, indeed. <laughs> and we've got uh, a little bit of a stalemate in this frame. Obviously, with a log jam up in that top left hand corner. Yep, uh, Mark's favourite really, given the position of the yellows. Yep. You'd have to think so. I think Lloyd much prefers a wide open table. Definitely Where does. he can get his hand on the table and get amongst the balls. Certainly does. Might plough into these. Oh no. Oh well, dear. There goes the power again. Oh, and on again. If anybody's ordered cheese and ham toasty, it's at the bar if you want to go collect it. Yeah, if anyone's ordered cheese and ham toasty, I'm afraid you're not going to get it anymore because we've turned power off. <sighs> Here, well, look at that for a shot. Yeah, good shot. Needs another one. Well, it needs another couple, to be fair. One thing for sure, he can certainly cue it. Cued it too well. Nice, boy, is that. 
Oh, yeah, it's a good Big shot. target. Do you know? Target. Yeah, I'm having a mental aberration there, Mark. Another one. So I'm thinking, I didn't realise that we were red. <laughs> it just goes into it. Passes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of you trying to nudge it out. Whereas it actually flies in, doesn't it, anyway? It does. It's just trying to work out whether it's worth trying to get position to, to stun into the black and move the black up. I think I'd just drop it in and play the black into the middle. Yeah, or, or even so. black long, to be fair. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't want to be moving it with... Uh, I think he's gone for it there to try and develop it, but... Mm. Not for me. No, I think I would be he's taking this last and just taking the black long. He's going to rally it. Well, no, that's I don't get crazy, that. Oh, that's... Oh, I've got a few gremlins in the machines yeah. today, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, that that was. Uh, there's just no need for that at all from Lloyd. Yeah, it was very. Uh, Don't get that one at all. He never scared the black there, did he? No. But I think, like you said, uh, Mark, I'd have played with percentages. Taking that as my last ball, get on the black. You either got a, a little drop into the middle or take it long to the top. And yeah. Lloyd's certainly a good enough cueist to to do either of those things. Yeah, without a doubt. So, good opportunity now for Mark to get within one. Yeah, not seen much of Mark today, but. Uh Seems to have been on the rough end of the results in a relatively tough group, or a very tough group. Yeah, he's, not, he's not had a lot of luck, really. Um, he's, he's played some very good stuff. He's played some very ordinary stuff at times. Um, but yeah, he's, he's not had a lot of running, to be honest. Luke Meadmore's just about to uh, pull one back against Paul Tickle. Yeah, that, well, hold on, he's thinking twice about a relatively easy back. So let's see what he comes up with. Yeah, he's just dropped it in the middle. And that's 5-3 to Paul. Paul is one of the uh, Norman's elite players, interleague champions. Over Manchester, where? Yeah, we're uh, not a uh, not too shabby at all, have we? No, there's uh, there's a few of them here today. Matt we Riley, Dell, JJ. Yep. We are Lee says, "Am I on chat?" He says, "He's asked that question on yeah. the chat." On the chat. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, you are Lee. Yes. As far as he says, he says no. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> like it. Very droll. I tell you what, it's like a oven in here. Isn't I know, it? I know. I'm flagging badly. Beer sweats kicking in. Whew. Coochie. Fiona's, bless her, is stuck in that kitchen making her own sandwiches and toasties and paninis and <laughs> He's taking his time over a few shots as Lloyd He does, he, he's not, you know he, I think I heard you say when I was sat down behind you, when he's in amongst them, he can fly, but when he's, uh, when he has to think about it, he really does think about it. Yeah. He's still well, learning to a degree yeah. in terms of the tactics. You know? I mean, he's played with DF there, but it's not a great shot. Oh, that's not a great shot either. 
Oh, that's made Lloyd's shot a lot better. Well, I tell you, he's crazy if he thinks he can just feather this yellow and tuck up behind here. That's the. If you're going to play safe, that's the only safety. Well, that's not a bad shot. Mmm, yeah. can I see it? Probably just see the edge, but there he goes with his thinking pose again. Oh, he's got new shorts on. He's got his vest on. He's not sure about those red shoes. Uh, he'll be tapping them together soon. Sure, yeah. take me home. <laughs> I want to go home, Dorothy. Dorothy. <laughs> There's no place like home. That's it. That's what we're trying to think yeah. of. They should have been the words. They should have been the words. Yeah. It's a good shot. He's, I mean, he's, uh, he's made it tricky, at least, for, for Mark. He's going to swerve this. And the Mark world to miss all these. They didn't get the plant, though. No. Uh, he's not really left anything for Lloyd, either. Well, I'm not far off doing six litres of water already today. It's ridiculous. Don't forget to take Lee with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 50 pounds in it. The rest of the night. Yes. No, that's for the rest of that. No, that's for it. 50 pounds. So if I drop him off at 7 o'clock? No, so I need to get him. Oh, you're not. I've been out for it. All right. So a bit of an aggressive safety there from uh, Lloyd. He's asking the question. I think he wanted to be behind the black, but yeah, it's it's still not easy. You, no, no. I think he's got to take the outside yellow here. Play the plant. The one nearest the cushion. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that wasn't a really good description, was it? A bit outside uh, yellow. Yeah. <laughs> I knew which one I was talking about, uh, but nobody else would. Yeah, the one near the cushion. Played a plant on that. He's in good shape then. Don't get that. Don't get that at all. Well, he was certainly relying oh, on luck. No, no, we're having no. some some fun and games with these with the power today. Yeah, not good. We're all off. Uh, it makes me laugh how you guys are all planned to go play golf on that last event, and you're like, "Oh, it'll be all right, Lammy. You'll be, you'll be fine. We'll set it all up night before and all that malarkey." We have not had an event yet that we haven't had an issue with the with the stream before we start or the cameras. You'll be fine, mate. Don't worry about it. Oh, the comp will run well. I'm not I'm not sure we'll get the string. Um, good shot from Mark, but he's Lloyd's got a good chance of uh, yeah, if you coming across pots and, it. and potting one this. Them, it's one of them. There's little doubt that he'll hit it, and there's a good chance that he'll pot it. I spit this. I'm just wondering what's happening with the uh, the juice. Are we not paying the bills? I think they've just been to Sainsbury's to get some more 50p's. Yeah. So, uh, here we go. Ooh. Yeah, like I said, there was a little doubt he'd hit it, but... Well, he's left a pot. Yeah, he's, he's Given got the previous game, visits, yeah. uh, he put, certainly put a bit of pressure on. Luke and Paul look like they're having just a... a, a who wants to throw it away the most match? <laughs> they just seem to be eating balls. I don't know whether they're both through or they or they're both out or what, but Luke yeah, we would have to say actually Luke was practicing last night and his feral came off, so it wasn't even his tip, his feral came off, so he's borrowing a cue, he's borrowing Daz's cue. Alright. There we go, four three. 
Bit of more success Daddy's queue has ever seen. Yeah, yeah, the sheer fact it's out of its case for more than five minutes, isn't it? It's progress. Man, I don't know, have to do it going on for a cold shower. I know, yeah. I was going to say I'd come with you, but that just doesn't sound right at all, does it? Not really. (sighs) Yeah, it's certainly uh, very uh, balmy in here today, and I mean that with an L and not an R, although the other one might apply as well. So, his last couple of games where you'd really have expected, if you were going to put a double on, you'd have put it on Arfan and Lloyd... Uh, have really sort of thrown up uh, some, a couple of fascinating encounters. Uh, James got over the line brilliantly against Harfan, and Mark's certainly making uh, a good fist of this against Lloyd. Griff stand up, okay. Getting a sweat on just sitting down. Well, that's the hardest I've seen Mark hit him. It's a good break though. It's going to take yellows, I would imagine. He'd have an instant opportunity to get his bad ball out if he played the... um, The yellow to the bottom left, running of a ball on the side rail. Yep, so there you go, as you called it. Oh, well, he's missed the pot by the ball. street. That's still open then. It is. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, Lloyd will be going yellows now. Absolutely. Simple one into the middle to start with. They all drop. I think I've already said it once so maybe even twice today, but how many times does that happen, Mark, where you're disturbing a ball and you take your eye off a pot? Yeah. You seem to concentrate more on disturbing the ball than the actual pot. Very deliberate today, Lloyd. I don't know, sometimes with uh, with Lloyd, he wants it just a little bit too much, doesn't he? And he, he yeah, he kind of he, he kind of loses his natural ability. But he puts a bit of pressure on himself. But. Yeah, I think he's a better player when he's just flowing. Um, yeah. You know, it's the old. Well, you saw it in his money match against Matt, didn't you? Yeah. Paralysis by uh, analysis. Table four. Pete Arundale, table four, please. Pete Arundale, table four. Yeah, I'll just go and sort a uh, refereeing decision out. One sec. Well, that means doing a bit of multitasking. Where Lloyd is just going about his business on the pool table. Looks like he's got a good opportunity here. They just wanted somebody to keep an eye on uh, on the shot. Uh, Pete's just nipped out. Collins uh, stood with his finger on the trip switch. 
<laughs> you are joking. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> Gets all the best jobs. One of, one of the tubes has gone in uh, in one of the uh, snooker tables. Oh, is that what's tripping it? Yeah. So they're just they're just trying to work it out, sort it out. So. Oh, all right. Well, at least we know what it is. Yeah. So they have paid the bill then. That's that's yeah, a relief. Yeah, yeah. I think you know they are running the electricity off a street lamp outside, so it does yeah. make it a little bit harder. Poor Stroom, they they've no chance of uh, yeah. Opening yeah. tonight. Stroom restaurant are un- wondering why their electricity bills half a million a year. Good shot from Lloyd. You would imagine that he's going to get over the line in this frame now. Cued back confidently. Slams in the black. 5-3 with the serve. It's difficult enough to uh, to comment- commentate when it's uh, so close. Um, but playing... Well, you've played, Mark. So yeah, it's uh, horrible. You know, when, you know when your hands are clammy and yeah. you can't cue properly because it, it feels sticky on yeah. you? Yeah. It's a little bit like that, really. Um, same for us all, though, you know, so that's not an excuse. Yeah. Cut break. Does Lloyd always cut break? I'm not sure he's changed his break there. Yeah, I think he has. He, he normally breaks from pretty much where that yellow is, just above the bolt line. Yeah. Um, let me give it a rest. That's Lee still saying, let me give it a rest. Give what a rest? I'm not sure. Um, I just said, yeah, it's a bit clammy, it's horrible. It's not an excuse, but who knows? In the wonderful mind of Lisa, who knows what it means? Another keyboard warrior. Oops. Hey, up. Oh. Was that a Cambridge Parrot? I'm going to watch that again. No. Nope. It certainly wasn't. All right, so Lloyd will be wanting to put this to bed now. Yep. Trying to disturb the black and red there together there from this shot, I imagine. Yeah, he'll get more opportunities at that. Where's our old pal Leeds thirteen seventeen? He's still out there. Oh, I think he's uh, less than less than impressed by what we've got to offer. I'd love to get some more feedback from you. Let us know what's uh, what's nagging at you. Yeah, yeah. Let us know what you want, want us to do next. We'll uh, we'll try and help you out. See if we can do. So. I, I, I tell you what they were moaning about last time. They were moaning about the fact that it was too expensive, fifty quid to enter. Um, but that's why we do the three pound, five pound, ten pound, twenty five pound yeah. entry tournaments as well. This is just uh, just one for the longer races for the. Uh, Slightly more ambitious players, that's all. I think it's fair to say that we did want one that's a little bit more exclusive. I don't think there's anything wrong with that when we do offer so many other events for... Uh Lammy's just been called off for another uh, referee <laughs> decision. He's multitasking well today as a lad. Okay, have you got your marker? Okay. 
Yeah, it's in the old case with little stickers on. Old case, that way somewhere, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sorry about the issues with the light. It's just uh, a, a tube has gone on one of the uh, the snooker tables. So uh, we're just trying to get that sorted, which means that it's just tripping the um, the other fuses, unfortunately. Just while he's looking at this, I'm going to take you over to the ta next table, just to show you what Lammy's looking at. Um, he's been asked a foul snooker on the black. He's tried all sorts of methods to see if it is or isn't. Unfortunately, Pete has arrived, so uh, he's able to have a look, and he's uh, sorted it out pretty much instantly. So we'll get back to the action. So was it all, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. No, not on there. It was a foul snooker, by the way, just in case anyone is uh, remotely interested. Wow. Table six, we've got jump to eight, JJ Cole, please. Jump so, Lloyd jump leaving jump himself a long one here. This is a test of queuing. Nice. Quite a bit, quite a bit wide. But he's still well in the driving seat in this frame. Oh Lloyd, I'm sorry I didn't realise that Lloyd had two shots there. Uh, must have happened when the lights went out. So in our over with a double here, we'll suit him fine. In. Yeah, great shot. And a very confident black. Takes Lloyd onto the hill, six three up. So it looks like the uh, hopes for James Lee are starting to uh, to fade. Another soft break from Mark, don't really uh, get that soft break. Doesn't really make for great viewing when all the uh, when all the balls are tied up and messy. 
purely in terms of commentating. Much prefer Lloyd's uh, thunderous break, but uh, splits the balls all over the table. But he's still going to have a pop at the yellows here. <laughs> Played that one well. The yellow closest to the black must go. <laughs> oh, it's look. Oh, well, 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 well. Let's have a look at the re. Let me, let me. Have a look at the replay on this one. Have a look at the replay on this first shot. Trick shot time at 147. Here we go. Bosch, Bosch. Well, well, well. If he uh, if he gets to seven three off that shot, then uh, I think Mark's going to feel a bit sick. No, he's missed that one by a street. I think he must have felt a little bit embarrassed about that last one. What he has done is uh, he's opened up all the reds nicely, so big chance here for uh, Mark to drag himself back into it. Just got the uh, company of uh, former two-time world champion Chris Mellon. He's just come in to see how things are going. I think he wanted to enter originally, which he would have been welcome to do. There were no restrictions on uh, entering this event, so Chris could have played. The lights going out on you guys. We are working on it. Hopefully we'll have it resolved shortly. I just heard the announcement from Phil behind me, just apologising for the lights going out. So that we are working on it. So uh, Lloyd is hoping to uh, turn Mark's lights out in terms of his, uh, his hopes in this game. But Mark's at the table currently, he's just run out of position now though. Still work to do. Yeah, he ran out of position there and it's uh, unfortunately come home to rules trim. And you would imagine that Lloyd will take these yellows out. Can't see anything other than uh, a dish here from Lloyd to take himself over the line. Yeah, this group will then be over. Uh, we might get another game from another group on the stream table, maybe. Just uh, not sure how things are going. I'll let you know on that. Obviously, uh, let's just see if Lloyd can do the business first. Surprise, he's second his ball first. Hmm. It's got a cue this. He had slightly more angle than I thought. Fairly plain sailing here now. He just needs to screw his back inch or two. Oops. Commentator's curse is there again. I think he's, uh, he's seen the finish line and he's just relaxed a little bit there, Lloyd. Not a great shot. Well, he might have to go off a side rail here and try and back heel it in. Congratulations, Group D is concluded and Paul Robertson finishes in first place, Tommy Butterfield in second. So that's Group D, Paul Robertson, Tommy Butterfield through. Yeah, he's tried to back heel, it's not happened, so... Uh, as soon as we can, we will uh, start playing these outstanding matches on two tables. 
I'm just waiting for the, uh, this round to finish. Thought it was pretty much nailed on that Lloyd was going to get over the line there, but he's uh, just had a little bit of a, a blip and a chance for Mark to uh, elongate this match. We should uh, do shot. Should do now, mate. Left a nice angle on that. Not too much to do with a cue ball here. Just needs to make sure that he gets this right. Just get it clear in his own mind which bag he wants to black into. Yeah, he's played it quite well. Whoa, slow down. Well, it's run away, hasn't it, that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, you would think that Lloyd will not pass up another opportunity to close this match out. Uh, Mark missed out a black by. Well, uh, I think the kindest thing I can say is that it was in the right postcode. <sighs> yeah, that's a good shot from Lloyd. It was. So it looks like he's going to close this match out and the group, so it would appear that uh, our fan and Lloyd will qualify. If we are still waiting to get matches finished in other groups, we'll get one on the stream table. If not, you will have a last 16 game coming up now.